from mom and dad. Laser disc. Sonia. Why so glum, chum? Oh, Tony. I owe James hundreds of dollars from running Commando and Street Fighter the movie for the last year. I just don't know when if I'm going to be able to pay him back. I just wish there was a fast, easy way to make money right now. Need to make some extra money? Well, let me tell you about Inbox Dollars. Inbox Dollars? What's that? <laughs> With Inbox Dollars, you can earn extra cash by taking research surveys, using special shopping promotions, or even watching TV. What? That's right, guys. And if you sign up with our influencer link, you'll receive a $5 sign-up bonus just for verifying your email. Wow, man. It's so easy to make money off of Inbox Dollars. I'll pay my rental fees off in no time. Yeah, you better get cracking on those surveys before I get cracking on your kneecaps. Ah! Thanks to Inbox Dollars for sponsoring this video. So click on the link in the description to start making money and get your $5 sign up bonus today. Hi. Hey. So um, I wanted to see this movie last year called mm -hmm. Annihilation, directed by Alex Garland, did Ex Machina. He wrote the new Dread, Natalie Portman stars in it. I was really, really hyped. And then uh, I put the movie you gave me on, and I heard the Mortal Kombat theme. And then I was like, oh, okay, mm. he gave me the wrong tape again, but I love Mortal Kombat. And then I saw the words, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mm -hmm. So I was very, very disappointed, and now I have to talk about Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mm -hmm. Still have not seen Annihilation with Natalie Portman. Yeah. All right, well, I already reviewed the first Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, which I liked. I thought it was pretty good, uh, especially back then. Then there was a sequel, Annihilation, and I've avoided it for so long because I heard nothing but good, uh, nothing but bad things about it. Yeah. And now, all these years later, uh, finally watched it for the first time ever, and uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's shit. <laughs> it is total shit, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's something. Um, like, like, there's movies that are so bad they're good. This is so shitty it's great. Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, so it's... Maybe. I don't know. Because um, I was expecting it to be boring. It was not boring. Oh, no, it was, it's uh, not yeah. boring. No. <laughs> It's real fast paced. If anything. it is, it's, it's like a so little fast too fast paced. Yeah, it's yeah. like every scene. It's like something's happening, and and you're just like, like holy shit! It's like a Power Rangers episode. Like yeah, a, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. we were saying that when we were watching. I was like, this seems like a Power Ranger episode, not a movie. Yeah, because every yeah. fight scene, it's a character from the game mm -hmm. yeah. surrounded by henchmen, much mm -hmm. like Power Rangers had the monster <laughs> and the putty. Yeah, they're all the putties. Like they're flipping yeah. around, going. Boo! Like, like they a do, lot like, that's green, what it seems like. A lot of green screen, a lot of crazy oh, lights. And, oh. you know. They like chroma keyed the sky <laughs> yeah, with and digital it, effects. And like, if you look at the characters yeah, in that opening scene, yeah. like their heads are kind of disappearing because mm -hmm. they're so smooth because yeah. of the, like, the yeah. digital effect. Like clearly they shot it on location. They're like, oh, I want the sky to be weird. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we'll put a filter on it. No, I want to digitally replace the <laughs> sky. So like Raiden's head is like disappearing yeah. into the sky. Also, Raiden gets thrown through a bunch of bricks like every five yeah. seconds. Yeah. Like, anytime he's stands up, he gets launched through bricks. Yeah. Like, so, and then he changes time. his outfit like halfway yeah. through. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so uh, I really, at the time, I really loved the first, I still love the first movie. Mm -hmm. I do too, yeah. As I'm older, I realize it's not the greatest movie. Mm -hmm. The story kind of doesn't make sense, yeah. but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, Just, I was 15 and it was like, you know, going to the theater yeah. with my friends and it was, it, it, it was the first video game movie to to resemble the game. Yeah, except for the mm -hmm. violence, which was a letdown. Yeah, but um, so I, mean, I was. Enough. But if, if it was R, I wouldn't have been, been able to see it. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have, you know. Yeah. Um, so I was real pumped for this as a kid. I'm like a Mortal Kombat sequel yeah. with Shao Kahn. He's finally gonna come mm -hmm. back. And then like my <laughs> grandfather took me to see it because he knew I love Mortal Kombat. Uh -huh. And I, like this is probably. This is probably the first theater experience where I walked out of the movie being like, that I was going to ask good. if it was even theatrical because it, it, looks, was. Like, it looks like a made for like Dude, DVD. I, or I VHS. cut out <laughs> the newspaper had like a little clipping for it, like an advertisement. I cut it out because I was so excited. I hung it on my wall. I'm like, Annihilation's coming out. And then I walk out. I'm like, 
Oh, that that was something. The, the thing is, too, like the first one left me as a kid. That movie leaving me on a cliffhanger of Shao Kahn coming down and and them going into fighting position, and then you're it's just the end of the movie. I remember sitting there going, "Oh, ooh, I can't wait. Ooh, the new one. I can't wait for it to come out." And then it did. When I finally saw it, it was on TV, and I'd never been more upset and disappointed. <laughs> Even then, nothing held up. Yeah, like the the special effects are barn on some of the worst special well, effects yeah. they in the movie. Are garbage. I can't but believe someone. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's but it's like I can't believe someone was like, "This is ready for theatrical release. Yeah. Let's pump it to the theaters." You know, you know Instead of weird? going, "This movie should never come out. We need to just you know, and, bury and it." The funny thing is, like the first movie. Okay, the the character reptile starts like that weird CG reptile. Yeah, yeah. that was nothing compared to this one. They have like every other scene. There's some like monster <laughs> that's like yeah, they, they, CG like. Here's the thing, like, the, the first one comes out, people like it, but they mm. complain the CGI is bad. Mm. Street Fighter comes out, people complain there's too many characters. Yeah. You'd think this movie would learn from that. Like, all right, maybe <laughs> less CGI, yeah. maybe work better on the CGI, and less no, characters. No, no, no. This they, one's like, they double the fuck down. <laughs> <on this. laughs> maybe they thought they were like, oh, uh, less characters? Oh, you mean less of the original cast coming <laughs> in? <laughs> so just two Lincoln characters? Lincoln Ashby's gone, Bridget yeah. Sampras is gone, I yeah. thought it Bear's was, gone. I thought it was, it was disconnected but they have um I think it was just Liu Kang and Rod, um, yeah. Katana Robin uh, Chu. Katana yeah and yeah, that's the it. guy who played Reptile comes oh, back as sub Zero yeah, you were saying the brother that. I'd like to talk <sighs> about Katana for a second yeah um her name's Katana but she doesn't use Katana she no. uses fans that suck. <laughs> That's kind of yeah. like General Katana in Highlander 2. I think he uses a broadsword. Mm. It's like, what the hell? Why do you people name someone Katana than how to have them fight with Katana? The, so. the thing is, too, like, when she's fighting those guys, you could tell how floppy those fans are because oh, they're yeah. bending all over the place. <laughs> like, they're, like, what, like wobbling. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I like about this movie is that it looks like any of us could have made it. It's yeah. like, like, if you get, like, the store-bought costumes and yeah. you get in front of a green screen, it's like, this could be done. Like, we, I, we I could literally thought thought about that this week as I was like yeah. editing things I was like I've done better special effects in videos I've done <laughs> yeah. than this did yeah. like it would take a lot of time but yeah. we could do it yeah, yeah it could be done I just want to say the uh, the, the the tombs and the little miniature city I made for Tomb Raider look better than most of the effects <laughs> yeah. in this movie. Uh, <laughs> and because right, you did the effects for the Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, I did the, the, the ABG episode, and I was like, and at the time, like, oh, this doesn't look great. Then I watched more about uh, Annihilation. I'm like, oh, my effects are genius. Give me an award. <laughs> Uh, so about the villains. So okay, okay. The, the the first movie ends with Shao Kahn. You're thinking, okay, the next movie is going to be all about Shao Kahn. Yeah. But, but that wasn't enough. They had to have Shinnok from Mortal Kombat mythology, who yeah, looks nothing not, like Shinnok. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's also not um, the father of Raiden. And yeah, they added that. You know, I, spoiler who, alert. Who says the immortal line? Do not underestimate the human spirit. Like, what, where did that come from? Like, I like the line, you let him live! Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> and he floats, like, <laughs> like, like he, he just scoots up. And he's like a foot and a half taller than Shao Kahn. He makes... I, yeah, <laughs> Shao Kahn, I, I'm not too big on the actor, maybe because they didn't keep the, the mask on and the shoulder pads the whole time, but he looks like Billy Zane, but stung by a bunch of bees. Mm. <laughs> I love the actor. He played the bounty hunter in X-Files, and in that... In X Files, they film him to be like tall and imposing and yeah. very serious. And this movie, you think they cast him for that reason, and they're like, "All right, talk like an asshole, yeah, and uh, look shorter than this elderly man." Also, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I hate every other villain in this movie because they act like not even well as like bad guy villain. Like they are the corniest things ever. They're like. Shao Kahn, let me do the army and I will Just bring like you victory. Rangers. It's like, yeah, oh, I will do it yeah, yeah. and I will bring you victory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. To, like, it's, to be fair, it is a sequel video game movie about Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Yeah, yeah they put 2 and 3 together. Oh, also, they, it's like, hey, you know what we should get? more? Let's get a bunch of American gladiators in this <laughs> yeah, movie. Yeah, it's uh, Malibu and who yeah, uh, and Saber, who is Mataro uh, and Saber's Saber Jax. Jax. Oh, really? <laughs> and they were both like, I. the thing was, I was watching Netflix or Hulu. I can't remember which one has the old American Gladiators. And I was like, wow, let me watch that. And I'm watching it. And they're like, let's go talk to Saber. And I'm like, <laughs> is he? Is that Jax from the second movie? Like, oh, no. Like, And well, th that should show you, too, how bad this movie is, that they couldn't even get the guy who played Jax in the first one. Yeah. And he was only in the movie for, like, 
two or three minutes. Yeah. And they couldn't even get him even saying, like, hey, man, you're going to be, like, the main dude. You're going to be one of the main guys. Yeah. They couldn't get that guy yeah. to come yeah. back. Speaking of the bad guys, it says – they said um, Smoke, the robot Smoke, was reprogrammed by Shao Kahn. <laughs> Who, I guess he's a hacker now. Uh, but picture that actor in his, like, skeleton cave, like, at a computer, like, yeah. plugged into smoke, and smoke's like... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's some Terminator 2 shit. Oh. Um, do you have a list of more characters that were in this? Oh, the there's way too oh, many. Nightwolf, who is awful. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. The movie also had uh, mud wrestling for some reason. Yeah, yeah I was right. fine with that scene. The Molina. <laughs> so wrong with fight, that scene, Justin. <laughs> which I was just like, wow, okay. Like, I guess, like, you know, this this movie was totally like, like the first Mortal Kombat. I feel like they they were like, we got this movie. We want to make it the best movie we can. Yeah. We want to really, you know, hammer home Mortal Kombat and really do it. Yeah. This movie was like, hey, we got Mortal Kombat. Uh, mud wrestling scene, bunch of <laughs> shitty CG monsters. <laughs> hey, you, uh, hey, you know that that main <laughs> character you liked in the first one, Johnny Cage? Yeah. Well, kill well, him. <laughs> John, John, go ahead. Can we, can we talk about how they're wearing different outfits than they were in the first movie? Sonya Blade has a whole different outfit. Mm -hmm. Like, she's wearing, like, rags at the yeah. end of the first movie. And then Johnny Cage has his glasses back, even though they made a big point that Goro crushed And he's also glasses. wearing, like, his shirt from the Goro fight, not yeah, the shirt. Yeah, from the Goro fight. Later, like... Oh my god, and then Robin Shu, like, Robin Shu's great, but he, clearly, like, he, like, didn't keep the, like, all the muscles in between movies, so he wears his shirt throughout the entire movie, whereas the first one, like, he was shredded. I mean, that happens yeah. between, between movies, the actors, like, stop working out if they don't have to, but clearly for this one, he's like, I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt, like, I'm, don't film any shirtless fight. I'm, I'm glad you're keeping track of his, his games. His, yeah. Like, I know, I noticed, though, I'm like, he was well, look, look shut up, guys. All right, I know Mortal Kombat really yeah. well. Um, I mean, you're also drinking in a VHS rental store. That's how I spend my nights. <laughs> if you yeah. were to describe this movie to somebody like who hasn't seen or doesn't even know what Mortal Kombat is, I just say it's a bunch of techno music playing with people jumping around on strings, flying everywhere, <laughs> shooting laser projectiles, disintegrating into CG skeletons, yeah. and saying one-liners. And by one-liners, I mean like. What? Yeah. Like, there's even, like, <laughs> there's the worst, like, like, everything, I'm sorry, but everything Jack says makes me shiver. Oh, my God. Because he's just so annoying. Like, <laughs> yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Damn, you barbecued his ass. <laughs> Every single thing he says is the worst. Even, even Ray, like Raiden was kind of funny in the first one. Yeah, yeah. Chris yes. Raiden was great. Bad, Christopher like, Lambert, yeah. or, and I like there. James Remar, but this is clearly yeah. the low point of his career before he became like a popular character actor. But like he has that scene where he meets Jade, and he's like, "Who's the girl? Can she fight as good as she looks?" It's like, when did you turn into a pervert, Raiden? Yeah, what dude. the fuck happened? Then you notice how many. How how much there is always like red and blue lights with strobes at all times. Yeah, yeah. all the time. It's either red, blue, or yeah. both. Orange and, and purple. Strobe or yeah, or something. yeah I, it's always uh, that. I'd like to talk about the horses. <laughs> oh yeah, the horses. Oh, wait. Scene. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not. I don't want to talk about the horses. I want to talk about the lack of horses. Because yeah. at one scene, you see all these horses coming with guys on horseback, the extermination squad, and then from scene for from that scene to like like two shots later, they go from like. 200 horses to 18 horses to two horses. Yeah, yeah. The, the Shao Kahn's army gets lower and really? lower the amount yeah. of cuts. But okay. that, I kind of, the only reason I like that scene because they actually shot on location. Like that really cool city that's built into like the the, yeah. the mountain. That's like a real location. I'm like, Which oh, I that's was like, cool. Is that the place from The Last Crusade? No, that's a different it's place. It's a different place. That's okay. a different place. But like it looks really cool. I'm like, wow, oh, this is the one scene that actually looks like it's in a movie. And oh. then it goes right back to CGI the bullshit and like bad sound stages. The movie oh. looks worse than like a fan film looks now oh. that you see on regular YouTube that <laughs> someone makes with yeah. like a no budget. Yeah. And my I don't know. I think uh my my most hated part of this movie. There's two things that drive me friggin' nuts about this movie is one, when they run to the mountain and they're like, Where's Raiden? 
oh, I don't know where Raiden is. And then they go, oh, there he is. And they look. And then for like a full second, Raiden's not there. And then he pops into frame and flips as if like oh, whoever edited not it. Not only that, he flips in. Then it does a quick cut on the same image, and then he's standing up. <laughs> yeah, it's watch, like... Watch, watch it frame by frame. It, it's the it's opposite the worst. of Ninja Turtles 3 when he disappears before he hits the water. It's that in Yeah, Reverse. it is yeah. exactly that. <laughs> Where he pops in instead of and pops then, uh, away. Also, when, when Liu Kang is fighting Baraka, mm -hmm. and he beats Baraka, he kicks Baraka off the cage, they just reuse the shot of rain falling into the fire pit. <laughs> But it's Baraka, and it's like if you look at really? it, like I it's know, rain. you know, real quick. <laughs> okay, shot. you're not gonna notice so that, that if we're it's talking real fast. about rain in the yeah. second <laughs> Mortal Kombat. We're like rain, <laughs> like we got this far. But it's like you, he's what obviously is, is not Baraka. In the movie, he is in the movie. He is. Kind of. Remember Ermac? Ermac goes to fight. Ermac Sony. is in. Yeah, yeah. Ermac, <laughs> who wasn't even a real character, I think yet. He uh, vomits out Noob Saibot. Yeah, it's like, oh, was just... there's Noob. It's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and he's on? not even like in a ninja costume. He has like a turban on it, looks like, or something. <laughs> yeah, it's really it weird. Look like Noob Saibot. It's just a dude uh, in a black ninja costume that he barfs out. <laughs> I can't remember everything that happened because so much. There, but there was a moment. One dude who I think was Shao Kahn after he had the mask off, he hits Raiden with some kind of projectile, making him fly back in slow motion. <laughs> and it, it's a it's a short Short moment, very short, but you see a cutaway of everybody else kind of like looking at him, watching him, <laughs> but they're all in regular speed watching him fall in slow motion. <laughs> Wait, you know what I hate? Raiden puts an electric bubble around all the generals and it's like, I'll kill all your generals. It's like, has Raiden <laughs> had that power? Why is he just kill him? Yeah, why didn't he do that? Throughout the movie, why was he like, fight? Why was he well, fist fighting with Shao Kahn and not doing the electric bubble thing? Well, he, they were gonna break Johnny Cage's neck, but as you know, Johnny Cage is not afraid to die. <laughs> oh. can, we, can we please for a second just talk about the Mortal Kombat the album? I yeah. will talk about oh, it all. Day. And we're not talking about the movie album. What no. I heard that sounds great, actually. Yeah, yeah. the movie album is so, great. They, they pretty much when you were playing the game, like in the, the first game when it came out, there'd be a screen that said, "Oh, send a money order to get this CD," and there was a CD that was made for. Or the game, and it's like all the like every character has their own theme song. Like there's a Sonya Blade yeah. song, and, and this is the same as like the, same band that did the, the uh, Mortal the theme. Kombat, right? Yeah, like, so there's called? more it's, of that. It's, basically, it's, it's basically they're a band called the Immortals, but it's a group of different European DJs working together just on this album. Yeah, and they did come up with the Mortal Kombat theme song, which I think is track five on mm. on the disc. Because I, I bought the disc. It's, mm. it's the last album I bought in the last five years was Mortal Kombat, the album. And it's amazing. The Sub-Zero yeah. song, it, it, yeah. it's so good. Yeah, I heard the Sonya song. That was really good. And the, the Sub-Zero, because you, you guys were yeah. just showing it to me. The like Johnny that. Cage yeah. song is pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, because I love um, the, uh, the Killer Instinct album yeah. And, yeah. And, and the K.I. Gold album. But uh, uh, this is one that I didn't know about because I would have just assumed, like, okay, there's... Maybe just a bunch of remixes of if, the main theme. Yeah, I thought like, maybe it was the game music yeah. or the movie music. I oh, didn't know if there was that's what I thing. thought. Like when I saw the CD on the game, I I never knew it was an actual CD that these people mm -hmm. made. If you like '90s dance music, listen to Mortal Kombat the album because it came out like early on in the '90s, mm -hmm. and there's stuff in there from like Space Jam and and, and CNC Music Factory where they. I think they ripped off the CD because there's so many amazing things yeah. in it. I think they they were really the pioneers of pumping up the jam. Yeah, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. on YouTube, so check out oh. like you know. Yeah. I guess there's like, a full album. Yeah, up. just you know. Okay, well, who was the target audience? Like, what age do you think? Like, I, I was an eight, and I liked the first one. Yeah. Maybe me. I don't. I was. Mm. When did this come out? I think they knew hardcore fans were turned off by the lack mm. of violence in the first one, so they knew they weren't getting them back. Do you think people who knew Mr. Ed? Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, Jax calls Mataro Mr. Ed. <laughs> Mr. Ed is mine. <laughs> I think At that. about one hour, 11 minutes in, I wrote this down. He goes, <laughs> Mr. Ed is mine. Yeah. And do, did kids know that reference? Was anybody watching? I, mean, I used to watch Ed. Nick at Night as a kid, so I knew who Mr. Ed was. Oh, I time. love Mr. Ed. We're, yeah, we're, we're, so we're, like. Can we tell like, him, Mataro looks worse than the centaurs on Hercules, oh, the God. legendary journey. Like, like he's uh, clearly just a guy with rubber legs, and they digitally add it like a thing. Sometimes actually, it's a live action thing. This the, the entire movie looks like the test animation for Xena. Yeah, yeah it looks worse movie. than Xena. How about that dragon at the end? The oh dragon, my god! 
Have you seen the Dragon Strike VHS tape from the board game? No. It has, a, it has a really weird, like, early kind of CG, I guess. And the dragon in that looked better than the dragon in this. <laughs> the Sunstone must be destroyed. Quest with me to this den of evil where we will bind Zeraptus and drive a stake in his heart. <laughs> well, there's also that weird monster that Jax punches. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, what? and then it turns I, into the Hydra from Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. Even though it's... A, G getting back to Hercules, Hercules had a Hydra that looked way yeah. better than this and Hydra. And that's a syndicated, a like, TV you know, show. it's on UPN, in which <laughs> UPN isn't even around anymore, but it was on, like, UPN in the 90s, and it looked <laughs> 10 times better. And I didn't know CG could be this campy, because I always think, like, CG is either just lousy or it's good. Yeah. And uh, when I when I think campy, it's usually like it has to be some kind of either stop motion or puppets or something like that. But this is campy CG where it's actually appealing. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. It's appealing. Um, I've actually come up with a top ten list of the worst worst VFX in this movie. Okay. Cool. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I've come up with clever names for all okay. of them. Okay. So yeah, you can do a nice top ten. Put them in any order you'd like. Oh, okay. And then you can uh, and just use my my witty narration. Okay. All right, here we go. I haven't come up with a funny one for this. Uh, right now, it's Sky Morphers. Remember the sky in the background's cutting into itself? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we have the Beast Wars butt punches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, look. It, 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 it happened. Don't worry about it. Um, you have, uh, I'm going to do my Smash Brothers. It's Sub Zero slides into battle. And Sub Zero just comes across yeah. like, a, like a fucking zip when line. When he's like shooting um, Scorpion, was it? Scorpion. Oh, no, no, no. It, oh, no. It, smoke. It was, uh, smoke. Smoke. Yeah. He shoots Scor uh, Smoke, but he's just like. Scooting in on a on a Whee! ice beam, but it, he's just like um, at, at first he, he it looks like he's flying, move. but if you look, there's an ice like um, bridge, and, and his feet are wrapped around it, and he's yeah, <laughs> and it looks stupider than you could ever imagine can, anything can you looking. Please put a sound effect when he's going across on a slide whistle. <laughs> um, we have a uh, cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Jax and Sonya jump away from. Oh, the from the you mean from when they jump away from the M peg of an explosion? Yeah. Yeah. Like that's pretty um, much what it was. We have <laughs> a hamster ball through the planet core. Oh, can okay. we talk when, when the hamster ball first goes? It looks like it's stop motion. Yeah. Oh, it looks like fucking sewer and it's just shark. a it's just a thing. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like sewer shark. Wait, this is this is a universe where they show that people could just teleport. Why are they in a hamster yeah, ball? Like, what the fuck? I like how they're explaining it as it's on. And it, it's first off, it's the most impractical, stupid thing ever. What? Where where Liu Kang and 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 uh, Katana are holding on to it is a giant hamster ball flying, and they're like, it uses the geothermal energy of a blah 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 blah. Like they're explaining it as it's on because people are gonna go, what the fuck is going yeah. on? But, but then later, how is this Mortal Combat? The Scorpion can just rip a hole in space and jump out. Yeah, Raiden in the first movie's teleporting on all the place, all over the place. <laughs> are you telling me? Chris, there's a scene where Christopher Lambert got the hamster ball and went to the <laughs> island. Yeah. Like, what the and fuck? And that thing has apparently just been on oh. Earth all um, this time. <laughs> I, I, I got, I got, we're halfway done the list here, you fuckers. Uh, we have the ice bridge falleth. <laughs> oh, the bridge falls into the pit. Yeah, yeah. It falls into the pit. And it's uh, like, duh. Uh, we have, uh, I couldn't come up with a funny name for this one, but we we already talked about the uh, bleach blonde ride in Flip a Rooney. Um, <laughs> The worst. Uh, we we this scene where Jade becomes a snack. The thing eats Jade, and then has oh, a and then there's yeah. a burp joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it just goes like bloop, and its uh, head those, like extends. Those out things to... look like the Atlanteans from the first Tomb Raider yeah. game. Like they're like no. the Clyde Barker skinless monsters. I I'm really proud of these last two in the top ten. Okay. Uh, well, you can put them in any order you want, but. Uh, animal cruelty, more like animality cruelty, because <laughs> the two things look so awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then uh, Shao Kahn with the dragon tattoo. Oh my oh, god, the yeah. dragon tattoos! Remember <laughs> they the, they have the dragon tattoo to come into our realm. Yeah, and you pointed out it's the same animation every time, each time. it flies off can of them. Please, it's the same like thing. Can you show every time it happens. Yeah. Also, there's that scene where like uh, who says it? They're like. Yeah, I remember seeing that tattoo on a woman and a robot. And yeah, it's yeah. Like, and then, like, Raiden's like, those were temporary passes. They must have tattooed it onto the robot. So not only is Shao Kahn sitting at his computer reprogramming <laughs> smoke, he also has a tattoo he's gun like, where he's drawing 
Which I don't even know how that you would know work what? on that's a robot. Actually, He's tattooing that's a, a robot. Tattoo we all got to get. We all got to get that tattooed on our back. We're going to go that out right now dragon. and get that, tat that dragon tattoo on us. <laughs> I got enough fucking tattoos I can't. <laughs> Tony needs one. That's what you're getting, yeah, Tony. You've got to get the so, dragon. We're going to get you drunk oh. and hold you down. So you there. know what's easier than oh. talking about who's in this movie? Let's talk about the characters that didn't make it into the Stryker, movie. Striker? Who, who did fucking... Striker oh. and... Uh, Cyrax? Kung Lao? Kano was no, 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 Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax was Sector. Striker and Cyrax Cabal. Was Sector, oh. was Sector. Striker and Cabal get name dropped. Sector isn't in it. Um, Quan Chi was in it, and okay. then he got cut out. Huh. So like, they almost had everyone up until Mortal Kombat 4 in the there movie. Was, yeah, there was Melina Katana. <laughs> oh, wait, Melina shows up. with two. Wait, wait, spears. Melina shows up. Wearing kind of the same outfit as Katana, but with her face mask, but she yeah. looks nothing like Katana. And Sonya goes, Katana? And it's like, no, Sonya, that's clearly a different woman yeah. wearing a different outfit who you've do never ever, met before. Do we ever see her mandible face? No, we never see her Baraka face. Like She just gets beat up and then never just spoken of again. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, in the video games, like there's a problem with the first movie too. In the video games, these are all these different factions, and then in the movies, they all work for the main for Outworld. Yeah, and it's like oh, well, that's like, the thing. Like in the game, it's supposed to be like the Tarkatans are just like you know scrappy dudes that yeah, don't and like, care, and then the Goros, Scorpion and Sub Zero no, are their like own the, thing. The Shokan. Yeah, fighting games don't need. Super backstory. Well, I, I, the thing is, I think that the backstory came from the movies, not so much the games. Like, I feel like in the games, they did have their little movies and they had the comic book that came out, but it was very basic. Yeah. And then they, the the guys who made the games just kind of went, oh, the movie did an okay job. Just throw that into, like, mm -hmm. whatever we do. And then they just kind of... Because Kano turned, it. turned into an Australian guy in the games. Yeah. He was, uh, like, He's half like, Chinese, half oh, American, and they turned him into Australian. Did you make me? <laughs> He's like, um, Shao Kahn, Ew. I was so let down by Shao Kahn. He's one of my favorite mm, yeah. video game villains. And they got a great actor to play him. Or maybe he's not good at talking. The bee guy? Yeah, he's great as Buffalo yeah. Bob and Joe Dirt. Uh, but, like, they made his, like, his oh, yeah. shoulder gauntlets <laughs> are just, like, floppy. Yeah. So he looks just like... There's also strings hanging off of his, like, armor yeah. every yeah. once in a while. Like, and I then, was like, like uh. his skeleton mask, they made the, the mouth too <laughs> big. Yeah. Where it looks like a droopy dog, so like, it doesn't Duh. look like threatening. <laughs> and then this and the web series Mortal Kombat Legacy also pissed me off because they make Shao Kahn just a human. And I always thought he wasn't like a human. Yeah. Like he was some kind he's of like, like cool. Well, I thing. think he is supposed to be like, he's like how the Shao Kahn are part dragon kind of thing. In, like, in the comics, like they said he was like half Tarkatan, like yeah. Baraka, but like they changed it. I just see him just some dude with a droopy dog face. And then yeah, when he doesn't have the skeleton, he's wearing the helmet. It just hangs loosely on him. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell? You got a bodybuilder and you made him look like the thinnest guy in the world. Like, well, how did you fuck up this man? <laughs> I I think that honestly, this is easily one of the biggest disappointments I've ever had cinematically as a child. J James. I was not disappointed. <laughs> wait, 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 James. It's funny, like it really yeah. is. Because I didn't watch it back then, yeah. because so I didn't have any expectation. I think okay. by that point in my life, I wasn't really watching. You know, I wasn't. I had already moved on. I wasn't really like going through my Mortal Kombat phase anymore. I think I was like on the whatever else. Yeah. So yeah, James, what was your reaction to Sindel's entrance? When Katana goes, Mother, you're alive. And Sindel goes, Too bad you will die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck does Jade say to uh, Liu Kang? Oh, when he's like, How could you do this to us, Jade? And she's like, it was so easy. I know, man, because those were like two models that tried to transition to acting, and this yeah. movie was going to be their big break. Well, it's like, ah, didn't I happen. like how, uh, how Liu Kang's just like, You will die for this, Jade. Like, real serious. Wow, and then my, she's yeah, just Liu like, Kang. It's like, Whoa, yeah, Lou. Like, he is going to murder. Like, like he's shit. straight up, someone's wrong with I him. I thought it'd be sweet if he fatalitied her ass by dropping a Mortal Kombat arcade machine <laughs> on her. <laughs> Which, on the screen, it would say, You order the Mortal Kombat album today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They oh, were. Uh, yeah. Oh, and also Sindel spins a bunch of times. Like when she's like, yeah. she's like, woo, and just Ooh, spins that's around. That's Spindel. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about Ray Park is in the movie. Darth Maul. That's right. Toad. Yeah. He's Raiden's stunt double, and when Raiden's fighting the reptiles, it's clearly not yeah. James oh, Remar. It's see clearly him. Raid Park, who's like 10 years younger than yeah. James and Remar. And they did a real bad job, like, bleaching his hair, because he has, like, black hair, so yeah. they, they had to bleach his hair like Raiden. Yeah. But you could tell that it was, like, a spray paint job spray painted on his head. Wait, wait, <laughs> I got a question. So there's multiple reptiles in this, right? 
And they're the, I guess. Yeah, and they're like the human <laughs> reptiles. But the first movie establishes that you have to throw a reptile into a statue. Yeah. So are these all reptiles that happen to be thrown into yeah, statues? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? What Which the also, fuck is uh, going on? I mean, that makes almost uh, no sense, too, in the first movie. is like... They're like, yeah, we're a race of people that, uh, you know, every once in a while we get up in someone's face and we claw them until they throw us into a, st a conveniently placed statue Here, so we can become human. Here's one thing I like in this movie that the first one was missing. And it was a letdown, but at least they did it. A fight between Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Yeah. I'm mm. like, at least, because that's all I wanted in that first movie. Oh, you didn't yeah. get it. Like, they go, yeah. like, oh, they're deadly enemies, but they're slaves. Like, Even uh, though they both look stupid But they hell, look stupid like, as shit. And they're like, if, the first movie, like, Scorpion has the dumb eel thing. And they're yeah. like, oh, let's add two eels and this time. And they're even dumber looking. They're like, they're even worse looking. Was, yeah, it was like. But I love that he screams suckers. Yeah. Suckers! Suckers! But his mask sucks, too. Like, in the first one, their masks were really cool looking. Yeah. Everybody, like. And then in this one, they have, like, these they look worse than the characters in the game. Yeah. Like, everyone the, the, looks the worse. The outfits from the game look way yeah, better than the Yeah, even Jax's arm look better in Mortal Kombat 3, the game, and his were just painted onto his arm. I forgot I met Jax recently. I got a picture of him in the... That's right, yeah. Yeah, him and the actor playing Johnny Cage. I got a picture of them punching me in the face at the same yeah. time. <laughs> Over <laughs> at, uh, what's it called, uh... Too many games. I believe, I, I, believe, I believe Johnny Cage wanted to take a picture with me for some reason. I forgot. Yeah, why. he was really like when we went up to him. Daniel was just like, Yo, Justin. Oh, we gotta hang out. Like he was like, Oh, yeah. wanted oh to, like, right. We we went through a bottle of vodka together at a convention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, have me you, have you gone John. through a bottle of vodka with Lyndon Ashby? No. <laughs> what about the actor from this movie no one remembers? No. Oh, <laughs> darn. I went through a bottle of uh, Bleach Hair Dye with Ryder. Um, the, <laughs> the director of this movie, do you want to know what he's up to these days? He directed Annabelle, the Conjuring spinoff, and Wish Upon. Huh. The, the horror movie that came out last year that was terrible about the girl who makes wishes and they mm. all backfire on oh, her. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so he's made two horrible films. Um, well, and, I don't, and anything else you want to say? <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but after this one, I feel annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess final thoughts. I thought the CG and that fucking 3D animated Mortal Kombat over there was better. Ugh. I think they're both pretty damn bad. I don't think mm. that there's very much redeeming qualities about this movie other than it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. It's a hilarious film. I got a question. If you paid to see this movie or own it, you're a sucker! <laughs>